Good afternoon, Irving High School, and welcome back to KIRV. I'm Hector, and this is Martin. Let's get into the news. Irving, prom tickets are on sale now. That's right, tickets are live. The theme for this year's prom is on the red carpet. Uh, there's gonna be paparazzi, pictures, a special dinner service, and of course, dancing. Go ahead and scan the QR code and purchase your tickets now. Tickets cost $60 until March 27th. Then the cost bumps up to $80. Seniors, if you plan on bringing a date that is not a student of Irving High School, then you have to fill out a form and get prior approval from either Mr. Hernandez or Ms. Smith. Please see the front desk receptionist, Ms. Solorzano, for the prom permission form. This past weekend, Irving High School visual arts student participated in the visual arts scholastic event. Artworks were scored on the level of one being substandard and four exemplary. Here's a list of all the students who received the max score of four. We also wanted to give a special shout out to Jocelyn, Alvarado and Leslie Palacios as they are advancing to state. On Irving High Sub Non-Varsity and Non-Varsity Orchestra competed on UIL concert and sight reading Tuesday afternoon and they were absolutely fantastic. Our non-varsity earned a perfect score of ones, in other words, a sweepstake. This is a huge achievement that takes countless hours and a practically perfect performance to earn. These wonderful students pulled it off. On Sub Non-Varsity, one of only four in our whole region earned a perfect score of superior on stage and an excellent score in sight reading. We're also proud of our third orchestra for bringing home a trophy as well. We want to thank everyone who made this incredible win possible. Please wish our varsity kids luck as they have a contest right now. Your Irving Academic Decathlon team competed this past weekend for the eighth straight year at the Thompson E. Mosley Academic Decathlon Division I State Championship. We here at KRV are excited to see the streak going. The team proudly finished the year in 20th place in the large school division. Out of the nine members of the team, six students were competing for the first time. So this is an incredible testament to the strong campus support and student dedication. Our high scoring members of the team were Diana Amaya Canales in the Honors Division, Kevin Tran in the Scholastic Division, and Jaden Morales in the Varsity Division. They had been our high scoring members of the team the entire year and they helped lead the way in San Antonio once again. Other important members of the team include Myra Ponte Castro, Andres Chavez, Nayeli Govea, Gerson Osorio, and Hector Calderon, and Emily Vasquez. We'd like to give a big shout out for all coaching staff for all the time dedicated to helping our students thrive. Shout out to Randall Winter, Bridget Winkle, Jonathan Fontenot, Jennifer Winford, Carly Addison, Benjamin Metcalf, and Sean Kilday. The ACTEC team has already started preparing for next year. We wish them all luck. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Please wait, look for- Wait, 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 wait. How y'all two beautiful boys watched the two on two that dropped yesterday? Y'all no, haven't? No, no? no? Whoa, let's roll the clip right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Tiger Nation, and welcome back to KIRV's Two on Two. Watch as two of our news anchors challenge Irving High School's most ferocious Tiger athletes, attempting to beat them at their own game. Today, our KIRV anchors hit the track as they challenged the Irving High track and field team. The race is a 50 meter dash, a short sprint, perfect for two runners new to the field. Their challengers were Kaya Walton Ravenel, Alexis Harris, and Rashawn Daniel. The challengers had quite the bravado. Hey guys, we're going. We're getting ready to run the uh, 50 meters against y'all's KIRV team. Uh, they're gonna lose. But our KIRV crew were hungry for a win. All right, Tiger Nation, welcome back to the new segment. It's gonna be two on two. Today we're gonna go against a track team. I'm Kaya. I'm Harris. I'm Rashawn. It's not a two on two, it's a two on three. <laughs> it's whatever though. It's the second episode and we're already deviating from the intended structure of the show. Regardless, the time for the big race was at hand. Our runners showed KIRV the basics and demonstrated the proper stance and posturing. And then it was time. Our runners were ready. The 50 meter dash comes to a close with Rashawn speeding ahead of the competition, a clear first place winner. Second place was Kaya, followed by Alexis. Trailing not too far behind is Martin. And in last place is Abraham. Awesome. All right, y'all. We beat y'all's KRIV team. We smacked them. 
I need water. You'll see the clip. Big gap. Except for my white suit. And that's jogging, bro. Like. However, unsatisfied with the defeat, Martin posed another challenge. A 50 meter dash with the inclusion of a single hurdle. Rashawn and Kaya showed him how it's done. And then, Martin and his challenger Alexis took to their places. Martin had cleared the hurdle. He had lost the race, but only in the smallest of margins. Our KIRV crew walked away from the field with another loss. But with each loss comes another lesson. Our anchors grow stronger with each challenge. Will the next episode of Two on Two be the episode where our anchors come home with a win? Find out on the next episode of KIRV's Two on Two.